Hey, it's Mike Finnegan from Roadkill. I'm here with David Freiberger, and you're watching The Boss Garage. <laughs> and so are you. What are we doing? <laughs> this is my first time driving a Mercedes. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. This is a 1994 Mercedes made in Germany, imported to Japan. Come on, girl. Which is losing reverse and then shipped to Vancouver, Canada, where it finally ended up in Southern Ontario. So this is the donor for our LS conversion, and I know it's not an LS conversion, but I'm gonna call it an LS anyway because I want to be cool. And we are gonna slap a big ass turbo on it and turn this into an 11 second guy. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this project because I've never done anything like this before. Whole new world to me, don't know exactly what I'm doing, and uh, that means I get to learn a whole bunch and spend lots of sleepless nights laying awake going, How am I gonna make that work? So this is a rear-wheel drive car, it's an AMG um, trim package, but I don't think it's an AMG because this thing is completely gutless. So, um, I think it's drinking coolant. The transmission is also very quickly losing reverse. And when you step on it, it's simple, nothing happens. So, we're gonna rip this thing apart. The reason I'm test driving this is, first of all, to see what works and what doesn't. I gotta make sure that everything is working the way it should before I get into it. That way, if it's not working, when everything gets put back together again, I know whether it's my fault or whether it came that way, and there's no arguing about that. So, we ran into that a little bit with the 85, where I got two trucks that didn't run or move for a long time, and I ended up having to fix everything. So, AC works, cruise works, windows work, the inside of the rear tires are as bald as can be, which is perfect because he needs some new tires. And uh, the last of these tires are going to be on the inside of the wheel wells <laughs> by the time I'm done with it, I'm sure. So my first impression of the car is a pretty nice, nice little car. Um, it actually seats seven, that back seat at the very back there. Um, it, uh, because two, two people get to have a view out the back window, which is kind of cool. Um, the uh, first impression overall though is that it's very narrow. It's actually a pretty small car, which is cool because it means it's light. <laughs> so um, it's going to be fast and that's all I care about. Probably a lot to do underneath the hood there. Uh, pretty complicated, there's some shields and shrouds. I'm sure I gotta take all that off. Um, we're gonna get a wire harness built by a guy a couple towns over. I'm not gonna tackle that first time just because I don't have the software to do the tuning or anything. He's gonna show me, kind of get me into it and rather than buy the wrong one, I'll just uh, piggyback off of him for the first build. If we do more of it, then I'll get into that later. Um, a little more complicated than our Cummins builds because Cummins need one engine or one wire to make that engine run and this uh, gets a little bit more involved. Yeah, other than that, uh, it's a little bit dirty. It could use a bath and probably clean it by the time we get back. But um, the alignment's off a little bit. It definitely needs an alignment. Put that on the list. The steering wheel's a little crooked on the tires being bald. Never worked on a Mercedes before. Never did an LS swap before. Here we go. So this is the start of our LS swap in our 94 wagon. Um, starts by finding a donor engine. So I found this one online. It's an 06 LS um, extended cab. Uh, that's just the trim level, not the engine. The, the engine code for this one is T, the eighth digit, which means it's an LM7, which is the most common 5.3. Uh, 295 horse with the 4L60E. The only thing with this one is it is a hybrid. I don't know anything about the hybrids other than um, there's a generator that goes in the bell housing that when you put your foot on the brake it shuts the engine off and the generator turns the engine back on again. So um, we've got a price in mind. Uh, this is governmentsurplus.ca. Uh, there's seven minutes and 20 seconds before it closes and I have the highest bid right now. So 
Um, these auctions are always kind of funny. Um, I tried to go about it a bunch of different ways. One, once I tried to make sure that I was the number one bidder all week, all that does is raise the price up by the time the auction closes. There's always three minutes to bid after the last bid. Right now it's at $1,505 uh, Canadian. It's in Hamilton, about a half hour away. And it uh, um, looks like a decent truck, only 139,000 kilometers on it, but it's not running. There's no starter on it though. Um, it's the generator that turns it over. So I figure there's an issue with the um, uh, hybrid system and we're just gonna toss that right away anyway. The hybrid system has nothing to do with the engine itself, but we do want the 4L60E to go with it. So if um, there's something in the bell housing that can't be removed, uh, we can't add a starter or, or something odd, we'll probably just sell the transmission and then buy the, the 4L60s are cheap enough. So I'm basically going halves with Neil. I want some of the parts off the truck um, for uh, some stuff I have in mind. And then he wants the engine and transmission. And then the ECU, I don't know if we can flash that one again because it's the hybrid. But um, I think it's funny that there's a Silverado hybrid around. So um, yeah, we're gonna keep an eye on this. So far I'm still the highest bidder. Um, I scared somebody away. Uh, he keeps outbidding me $2 and I keep outbidding him about 500 bucks. So I'm trying to let him know that I'm serious. So we're at 1,809 right now. Let's see what his magic number is. I think it's 2,000 bucks. So I made sure to go 2,052. He's at 2,015 now. So he's probably getting pissed off right now. And I'm gonna bid it up again just so he knows that he's not gonna get this truck. Um, 2,000 bucks was kind of our number, but I bid um, an extra 121. Generally, people stop at an even number, um, 1,500, 1,000 bucks, 2,000 bucks. So I usually go um, an odd number above that because it'll just tell them that they're outbid. So, and then my bid goes up to their highest bid plus $2. So he stopped for now. We'll see what, uh, we got three minutes left. So he did 2200 as his max bid. I did 2152. So now he's gonna keep going up to 2300. I'm gonna go 2310, that's it. Any more than this, and I'm gonna let it go. Because there will be more, so. Is that what? 2300. Yeah, so? You wanna keep going? A little higher. Yeah, 2500. Sure. All right, we are at 23.54, so he's humming and hawing. But uh, we got our magic number. The point of the auctions is to not get carried away and stop at a certain point. So um, 2,500 bucks for a truck that doesn't run with a possible transmission that we don't know much about um, is pretty high. So Neil was pretty excited about this project, so, but I don't want to get too carried away. So here we go. So his magic number was 2359. I stopped at 2512. But there are 22 seconds left. It keeps bidding like another like $2 and then it resets it to 5 minutes. 7 seconds left. 2 seconds left. We are the proud new owners of a 2006 Chevy LS. Sweet. All right, that's an exciting day. So we're gonna pick that up probably this week and then uh, start ripping it apart because things come into the, the boss garage yard, get ripped to pieces, get put back together. I'm gonna rip a bunch of pieces off, pull the engine, park the rest of the truck out back, start listing a bunch of stuff on Kijiji and uh, we've got ourselves a truck. Here we go. <laughs> there she is, our LS donor, I think we did all right. Got a nice toolbox in the back. Um, tires look really good. Um, lots of meat left on them. So the back bumper's mint, which is nice. Those aftermarket ones rust way too quick. Uh, it's got the nice lip on the tailgate, even though the tailgate's pretty well shot, I think. Um, lights, whatever, some aluminum rims, exhaust, plain Jane truck, um, cloth seats, it does have power windows and door locks and mirrors. The doors are in great shape, the rockers aren't, but the seats are next to new. 
and I think it's only got 139,000 kilometers on it, so less than 100,000 miles. Perfect donor for the Mercedes. I don't think we could have asked for something better. So, um, got the whoopee lights on it, and the grill, and on the back rack, and then, uh, ooh, the temperature and everything. And, uh, nice, and the dash is like, super clean, brand new. Driver's seat isn't even worn, like, uh, oh, you can just see, I don't know, it doesn't look like it, looks like it through the camera, but, but, like, it's still firm, so I don't think, um, a good way to see whether it's actually 139,000 or if they're screwing you is if this is seat is blown wide open, then you know that it's been worn more. And the pedals too, if your pedals are all wore the rubbers, then you know that it's a uh, um, high mileage car. So the whoopee lights are working, uh, the one on the top is working, the ones on the back is working, the radio is working. Um, so that's good. I'll buy a truck off of city yards anytime. I got a full tank of gas, so there's almost a hundred bucks. So that's good. Um, and when you turn the key, I hear ticking underneath the uh, in the bell housing. So that's most definitely the uh, hybrid system. Okay. Hybrid. Ooh. And then I did notice it doesn't have an alternator and it doesn't have a belt driven power steering unit. It has an uh, electric power steering unit. What's that? Vehicle care, lacquer touch up paint white. Nice. Uh, considering all my vehicles are white. 24 degrees outside. Very nice. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Might be a loose connection on the bell housing. I'll take a look. <laughs> So September 17th is our open house. We're looking forward to it. We've got a few reservations already. Uh, Randy Kaline is gonna be here with one of his hot rods. Rick Osborne's gonna be here. If you wanna chat with him, come on down and, and check it out. Also, the 85 Crew Cab will be here. The 04 F350 is actually getting its tranny redone. So if that's done in time, I'm not doing the tranny, but um, if that's done in time, it'll be here. Uh, the Tahoe will be here. Hopefully that thing will be put back together again. I don't know if it's gonna be on the road or not, but it'll be running and moving. The Fleetmaster will be here. The GTO, which is still in the same shape as it always has, will always be here. <laughs> and uh, bring your rides. If it's got a throttle, we want it here. And it's from one to, we'll say six. <laughs> I, uh, I'd like to know if you guys are coming or not, or roughly how many people are coming. If there's enough people, maybe we'll flip some burgers. We'll see you then. Hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you love the channel, consider picking up a tape boss to make those projects go faster so you got more time to watch YouTube. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.